As the Russian rearguard pulled back from Kiev, Ukrainian troops yet again were waiting. It looks as if they attacked out of the tree line. Nimble Ukrainian tactics and modern NATO weapons are making tanks look obsolete. At least one charred body of a Russian soldier was inside the wreckage of his vehicle. Best Russian troops tried to do this and they were just defeated and ran away. So that is a sign that we can win the war. The road into Bucha was littered with war debris. Ukraine has saved its capital, but Russia is much better positioned in the east and south. Winning for either side is a long way off. Russia's defeat around Kiev may have started on this suburban street in the last few days of February, just after the invasion. A long column of Russian armor was destroyed as it pushed forward towards the capital. These were elite airborne troops, mostly in armored vehicles light enough to be carried by aircraft. Once again, anti-tank weapons and attack drones made them no protection at all. This is the graveyard, one of the many graveyards of Russian hopes for capturing Kiev. It was early in the war and they were advancing. And then the ambush happened. Panic must have ensued. Look how this armored vehicle has ended up ramming that one. They had no idea what the Ukrainians had in store for them. Young conscripts ran away, begging, local people said, not to be turned over to Ukrainian territorial defense. A neighbor who called himself Uncle Hrisha said, I felt sorry for them. They were so young, 18 to 20, with their whole lives ahead of them. It looked as if the Russians, as they prepared to pull out of Bucha, had no such pity. At least 20 dead men, some with their wrists tied, were lying in the street as Ukrainian troops entered the town. The mayor said they'd buried 280 people in mass graves. How's, how's everything? A few civilians who'd stayed said they tried to avoid the Russians, cooking outdoors because their gas, power and water were cut. This is the first bread we've had in 38 days, said Maria. The Russians systematically broke down doors to loot flats, they said. While they stole valuables and food, the soldiers made them sit in the cellar. A few miles away, the trail of devastation leads to Hostomel Airport. It was fought over from the first day of the invasion, when Russian airborne troops landed to use it as a base for a push into Kyiv. The world's largest transport plane was destroyed early on. An enormous amount of national pride was wrapped up in this huge aircraft. It was a symbol of achievement, of Ukraine's place in the modern world. And now it's a symbol of what's happened to the country. The Russians insist they never wanted to capture Kyiv. The evidence is that they were stopped by more effective, determined Ukrainian troops. Leaving the battlefields around Kyiv simplifies Russia's new objective, a spring campaign in the east, another attempt to break Ukraine's will to fight. Jeremy Bowen, BBC News, Hostomel.